This is a public service announcement. For all you Barn Life fans, we lost power due to an epic tornado warning storm slash beast of a windy day. It blew out my breakers. Guess I'm going to have to step up my game for a more solidified system here at the barn. But I just live in a barn. Ain't much I can do about it. Power, shit happens. But hope you guys tune into the show because it's an awesome show. We interview Daniel Hamrick on here. We get a good couple questions in, and then we lose him also. But Little Ace and the Ticketmaster, we're going to have some fun. So please enjoy the show. And here we go. Whoa! Back with Barn Life, Episode 7, and I think we got our co-host with the most back with us in studio. How's it feel to have him back, Voss? It's pretty good. It's a lot easier to uh, get this going here. Yeah, much much, uh, much easier setup for sure. Uh, we forgot something already. we got to thank our sponsor, Ooh, yeah. Calcium, this week. Cuh! Thank you, Calcium, for everything you do for our bodies, our bones, and all the good stuff you bring to us. Thank you once again. So, what are we going to talk about? Racing? You want to talk about racing, boss? What do you think? I would think so. I mean, we just got back from the West Coast. And uh, finally, this Austin West Coast was gone the whole over. time. Yeah. I, am, I am proud to be back on the East Coast, personally. Um, it's a great time to go out there for three weeks, but after three weeks, there's nothing like home. I felt like uh, clicking my tennis shoes together and coming home because the East Coast is where it's at. I, I loved uh, staying out there, like I said. The weather was nice, and it is freezing cold here in North Carolina again. This has got to feel like a vacation home to you right now. I mean, you you haven't been here in three weeks. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's here. But, uh, you know, my brother-in-law, he holds down the fort really mm-hmm. well. Um, but I'm home again, and there's nothing like just staying in your own bed, dude. I love my bed. I'm a tempur guy. Um, Big tempur guy. Yeah. I, I sold you. Remember your you first mattress? You did. My, uh, my college mattress was not getting the job done for me, and you said, man, got to invest in a good bed, and... It was a little pricey, but you know, definitely worth. You it. made it happen. Definitely worth it. Hey, but tell them what you tried to do originally, though. Uh, that was no, no. Was come no, on, let's go ahead and hear this. No story. This is Ill great. In, Voss will love this. There was no ill intent behind that. You moved your main bed over to Whitney and Mariel's house while your room was getting construction done on it because you were planning on staying over there, and then of course you didn't stay over there, and the bed I had been using in here was one of the extra beds that you had. It was a Tempur-Pedic bed. It's nice Tempur-Pedic. Yeah, I was using it for like a year and a half, which you were totally fine with, and then I got my college bed. Because, because I said because, I needed no, be- a bed over here. Because my roommate was moving out. You didn't say you needed a bed up there. I, I just no, went. I Raider, needed a bed in my guest room. Raider moved out, <clears throat> and my college roommate was moving out of his apartment in Winston, and he's like, hey, you want your bed back? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take it, and... Brought it over here, put it in there, and then I don't know why you stayed over here. The one night you stayed over here and you laid on it, and you're like, "Well, what bed's this?" I said, "Oh, it's my bed from college." And well, I want that other bed back, and you used it one night. And okay, 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 hold on. This is totally getting twisted toward his side. Instead well, of because that's instead, the real instead of story. putting my bed that he's been laying on in my guest bedroom, he put his bed in my guest bedroom, left my bed so he could sleep on it, right? So I come over Spare here to stay bed. the night. His bed was at Whitney's house. Right. Is this a tempur or a different bed? Because we were having this construction. This is Oh. And there were the, my guests were still good. tempur bed, right? It's supposed to be in there. Not a sponsor, but if they're interested. Yeah. Hey, hey if you're interested, we, we love your- <laughs> I don't uh, know. They'd have to knock calcium out of the way right now. Yeah, um, calcium's got can, the- We can fit two in a 30 to an hour yeah. show, whatever Calcium's definitely P1 though right now for sure. So I go over there, lay in that bed. The bed is broken. It's not broken. No, no, it's no. The springs, uh, everything is done. Like it's mashed. Like I'm like trying to it's figure out how to. So I lay on my floor with sheets that night. The next day I say, hey, man, we got we to gotta fix this deal. I mean, I'm telling you, the floor was more comfortable than this guy's bed. I don't know how he made it through college. I don't know how he made it. Well, kind of I mean, sleep. I had the bed for a while. I, right. It, I mean, it was totally broken, right? He was like, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not. So he switches it, puts it in here. Two days later, he's buying him a new bed. Two days. <laughs> two days is all it took. <laughs> Don't lie. You bought a new bed in two days. It was like two weeks. Wrong. You said, I can't do it anymore. Whatever. Not <laughs> true. Not true. <laughs> So what kind of beds do you sleep on on the road when we're out on the West Coast? Was it was it good? I don't know. Rosie is really into like looking at the brands of the mattresses. Like he'll pull the sheets off and really, 
He's like Rosie's super into like hotel beds and like always is looking. What do you like, mean like into them? Like he just loves like seeing the different brands and like because he, he and like he'll. <laughs> That's he'll, scary to I, me. It's weird, but it's kind of like I don't I don't know. He's like looking for a new bed to buy, maybe. But does he write like, them down? Yeah, like he looks them up and stuff, and like he oh. sees if he can. If he oh, can, wow! Yeah, yeah, he sees if he can like go buy the beds. That's scary, and stuff. dude. I don't, I don't ever want to look under the sheets at a hotel bed. He loves the mattresses. Dude, I, I'm at afraid hotels. something bad would pop out, like a. C- cockroach or something. You'll be, you'll be Rosie's right. a tire changer on Ty's car. Yeah, right, one of your teammates. Yep. Yeah. So and he he just loves he's a bed looker upper. Yeah, loves loves hotel beds. Interesting fact about John Roselli. So did you sleep well the night before the race in Fontana? Yeah, yeah, I did. I usually sleep pretty well at the hotel. My roommate Terry's not a snorer. Terry, Terry the tire changer. That's key in a good roommate. Yeah, yeah. He's not he's not a snorer. Boss, or anything. Who do you room with on the road? Sam Abney. Is he a snorer? He's got a he's got big nostrils. Yeah, he um, seems like he'd be a big snorer. I don't really think so. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, so that never really bothers me as long as I can get to sleep. I bet yeah. you're the snorer. M- <laughs> Might be. I don't I think, think so. I probably snore a little bit. You do? I try not to sleep I directly on my do. back. That's yeah. when it happens. Yeah. And I'm a big back sleeper. Yeah. I, I slept pretty good the night before Fontana. We were we were excited about the race because the Xfinity car was really good. We ended up fourth in that one. Had to adjust on it the whole time because we were sideways in qualifying, awful qualifying. But we did a good job recovering, finished fourth, and truthfully, probably were a second-place car at the end. But it took that whole time to get there, mm-hmm. and stops were epic, by the way. Thank you. Thank that was you. really cool. Um, yeah, so I slept well going into Sunday night because our cup car was uh, fast in practice, yep. man. We had the average qualified of second. Fifth. Yeah, qualified fifth, and we were second on average. And we hit turn one, and it was a dump truck. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just it didn't want to turn anymore. It was a battle all day, but I, you know, it was encouraging to see what you did at the end there with that long run, and you know all the work we did on the car all day, and a couple wedge adjustments later, we I, have a fast car yeah. again. It was just too late. I wish I wish we had a hundred more laps. Yeah, because you were mowing. I mean, you were mowing people down. If we had a hundred more laps, I think we were a fifth place car where yeah. we started. We, yeah. we didn't have nothing for Truex, yeah. uh, uh, but. We did have a car capable of running oh, yeah. fifth at yeah, that point. Definitely. So it was a it was a fun day all in all. We had we had yeah. fun uh, in the pits. We had the uh, Procast uh, Dude, that iPad. That looked so cool. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, Andy Petrie came to me Saturday and said, "Hey, you know we got Fox was doing this new Procast like iPad thing, and you know I I said you guys would be perfect for this, and you know we were pretty excited about. It. We had some fun with it. Migos was down at, uh, at the pit box during the race, and they uh, they came and got on one of our little videos with us. Did you us. see the video of them get trying? Uh, was it Quavo trying to get in Bubba's <laughs> car? <laughs> Too claustrophobic. That was great. people don't understand how like tight it is to get in a it's race. It's tough car. getting in them. When I first tried starting getting in the practice car, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm awkward. Yeah, right? no one doesn't have a head set, a headrest or. You know, leg support. Yeah, or any I, of that. I couldn't imagine getting into one of the actual Cup cars or Xfinity cars. How would you, if you were going to drive a race car, how would you mount your seat? Would you be laid back, or would you be like right up on the wheel? Because you have some guys that are like, I mean, right up I, the wheel. I'm kind of in the middle. I'm a right up on the wheel kind of guy. Darrell, he would definitely have his way laid back. He'd be I, laid back. I went and drove his car one time, and like <laughs> when I got in it, like my arm was like down here, and I'm like. Then I get in, he gets in, he's driving from like, yeah, man, I just got to be, you know, laid back. Uh, whatever What's with some boat? drivers leaning their seat over? Do you do that? I have a little angle in my seat, and it's mostly just because when you hit the corner, however fast we're going, I don't know, I just feel like that angle kind of straightens you out a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I just, in a dirt car, I have a little angle in my seat, not much. Yeah. I definitely don't want to be the other way, because then you feel like you're just always constantly always going out the corner. Over. Yeah. yeah. So a little angle toward the inside because you want to go left right well yeah i mean we had the top 10 finish that was good to have after three weeks of being out of the top 10 yeah. and so it's it was definitely encouraging to get back in the top 10 and mm-hmm. you know we'll take that into martinsville this weekend and oh, we'll, i can't wait for martinsville yeah. I, i'm kind of dreading the weather obviously because weather is not well, good right I now just it doesn't look rain good. rain snow sleet Oof. it'd be like the mailman we're still going to get this race yeah. in though yeah, yeah yeah of course we're going to make it happen and I'm pumped because uh, we changed our brake system in the off season, and Martinsville has always been a good track for me. I think I've ran the top five, top ten there the last couple times, and now with the braking system we've got, I'm pumped about getting there because last the last race all I complained about were the brakes, yeah. and this year brakes have been solid for us again, so that that's good to get that 
out of the way. You if you can't you can't stop, you're not gonna be good right. at Martinsville. You gotta be able to stop. Right. Martins Martinsville is gonna be a challenge for pit stops. Oh That's man! For sure. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need you. Everybody's to Everybody's nervous about get, it. Getting yeah. into the box. Shh, don't like, tell them the secrets, man. Yeah, oh, you've been getting <laughs> into the box great all season. So getting in need... the box is really key in these new pit stops. So yeah. we need we need uh, you to keep focused doing that. on. And Martinsville is sure. really tight. Yes. Yeah. Very pit small crews box. dread Martinsville pit road. I feel like. Well, you know, it's another challenge that we can. Uh, but do, do you guys dread it or no, do you I look, look up to the challenge? Yeah, I, I like challenges, so I think we look at it as you know, put a challenge. Two worst pit roads: Bristol and Martinsville. Yeah, I mean they're probably two, they're tight. Two of the well, Mid Ohio is probably the worst. I I hate Mid Ohio. Cup, yeah. Cup tracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Martinsville is probably the worst. Yeah. And because the let the way the cars, short track cars, yeah. roll over, they don't jack up very nice. Yeah. And there's a yeah, there's a lot it's of a struggles. It's funny going into Martinsville. They're always like, you know, it's going to be tough, just nice and easy, blah blah blah. And then after Martinsville, it's like. They forget that and all, and it's like, yeah. ah, what, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yes, we wish every track had it built like this, right? Yeah. No, it'll be it'll be good. We'll uh, we'll, we'll rise to the occasion. Yeah. Do you want to pit in the corner, or you want to pit on the straightaway? I'd love the straightaway. So the straightaway. we always pit like the front of the corner. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I've always ended up in the corner at Martinsville, mm-hmm. whatever team I've been on, and. I feel like the corner gets you in and out of the box I a like little better, doesn't it? I like that. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. does, I, it doesn't matter. Whatever we get, we get. Yeah, and it's we just fine. go do it. We yep. tackle it head on. Yep, so. exactly how we got to look at it. And it's a two-day show this weekend. That's really nice. I'm pumped about that. Well, it's nice. I mean, we, we go out west the last three weeks, early morning wake-ups, all these flights. Now we just go an hour up the road. That's yeah. super nice for us. And and But it's good for the fans, too, because they get to see a lot of action in mm-hmm. two days because – you get the truck race, and yep. then we quali- We actually stay there and qualify yep. after the truck race, and then we go into the race on Sunday. But yep. practices on Saturday, uh, two practices in the morning. It'll be uh, it'll be high paced because yeah. we got to figure out how to get the car um, race pace, and then mm-hmm. we go into qualifying trim, qualify and race. I mean, yep. it's quick, and I think always racing is better with less practice. Dirt racing, mm-hmm. you line up, you run five hot laps, and you go race. Some places, I mean, three hot laps. And you go qualify and race. It's just what it is. And yeah. now, you know, but cup racing has always been a lot of practice, a lot of practice. And I think now where the technology is, we're close on loading. Less practice is better because that'll create more, I guess, uh, separation between all the cars. If you don't show up and you're not good, you're, you're probably not going to be able to get it done by the right. time. And just, you have to be good on loading off the truck. Right. Migos. Those guys were awesome. What they, they say about the pit stops? They loved it. They, they, uh, the pit stall ahead of us, there was no nobody pitting in it. So, like, they were all over the wall. Taking had, pictures. Had their cameras out, everything. They were watching. And we got done. I see them. I'm like, oh, You man. think they could be a team owner one day? That'd be awesome. Wouldn't Seeing those be? guys every weekend at the track would be awesome. They had a squad with them. They were, like, rolling 15 deep. <laughs> Everybody was loving it. They were having a great time. Fun dudes, for sure. So, Migos and Ice Cube were there. Yeah. Yeah, you got a picture I got to with meet Ice Cube. Ice Cube, Ice Cube was awesome. He, he had his whole family there. It was cool that he brought his family. You know, that's what our sport's about, his family. And he, he brought his family out to our sport. And that was his first race, so he had never been to one. And I'd like to see, like, I'd like to interview him now and see what his reaction to was it because uh, Fontana is, is a special place yeah. as far as, like, how the racing goes and the mm-hmm. restarts. It gets pretty wild there. It's a good racing. Super jealous you got a picture with him. And... He- I gave you my caption I was going to use for the picture I was supposed to get with him, but I never got the picture. Yeah, thanks for your caption, Paul. It was, oh, it was, today was a good day. Bummed. That's right. Today was a good day. And it was, and it all worked out because we got a top 10, so like yeah. every, everything played into that. Yeah, yeah, it worked better for Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, boss. All right, since we had two, we had one mega rap group and Ice Cube rap star for, mm-hmm. for life. Mm-hmm. What would what would your rap name be if you had a rap name? The Ticketmaster. Dude, that is so quick. Like, Uh-oh. Come on. The Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster. Get your tickets. Whoa. <laughs> I wish I had one like on top of my head. What would mine be? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Lil Ace. Lil Ace. He go. had to put Lil in front <laughs> of it. It's got to be Lil. Yo, Lil. Lil yeah. Ace. What are you guys laughing at on well, the couch? It's got to be Lil or Big. I said, I you said like the Ace. Lil, this is Lil and he Ace said Lil right Ace. here. I'll take it. Lil Ace we on the mic. We got Ticketmaster and Lil Ace. Lil Ace. <laughs> All I could think about was Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Ace. Get you some dreads, Austin. 
No, man. I can't grow these things out, man. Hey, man, I had dreads. My grandpa I... gets mad when I don't even get my hair cut properly th- th- every time. I had dreads when I was in fifth grade. You remember when I had... V- jo- Josh, you cut my hair, so remember when we had this awesome tail going down the back of my neck and that it got thing cut was off? great. The old redneck tail? Yeah. It was beautiful, man. No, that was a wolf tail. It was tail. beautiful, wasn't it? It was the wolf tail. We're going with wolf, wolf tail. Wolf tail. I enjoy that. Wolf tail. And there was a kid in there today. Clint Boyer's uh, nephew was in there today, and he's he's got the best flow right now, dude. That thing was sick. The best flow. He had I the tail say, and the line in the side. You cut, I it, wanted you cut that. his hair? The wolf tail kept no, Tim going, did. man. The wolf tail kept going. There's plenty of people that had the wolf tail still. Because I kind of want to grow it back out at one point. You got to, man. The fans love it. All right. I, I might have to they do the wolf did. tail again. Boss, so he's got a great hairdo going too over there. I yeah, wish we I mean, could have made him uh, I was preparing. really grow it out. I was yeah. getting a head start on our subscriber count. Unfortunately, but. we didn't get those 10,000 followers by this show. But, hey, we still uh, we could, we could maybe – We're uh, still growing. Yeah, nah. we're growing, and we could make a new bet. We maybe. haven't made a big enough push yet. Yeah. The yeah, West we'll, Coast kind of killed us. Yeah, we'll get mm-hmm. there. We'll get a there. A little bit. We got you back in the studio now. Oh, so. yeah, we're here. We're here. We're ready. But – We're ready. Little Ace, the ticket master. What about Voss? Yeah, Voss. The Voss yeah, man. The Vo- yeah, the Voss man. It's got to be that. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> what would you rap about? Me? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Iowa and corn. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> corn fields. Dude, I actually watched an awesome My John show. Deere tractor. Uh, if you have time, watch Drop the Mic. It's amazing show. It's celebrity rap battles. I don't know if they like pre stage this rap. I, I like think. Is it like lip sync battle? Yeah, it's just a rap battle. Like yeah. they just cut each other down pretty much. I've seen clips of it. Yeah, it's hilarious. Maybe maybe you and I should go against it, like have a week to write out some they, stuff. I'll say they have to have writers. Dude, some I'm of them telling are you, they're good. so amazing. I I, I uh, who was it? Halle Berry was on there last week and she crushed it. And I'm like, there's no way that was off the cuff, like yeah, top of the head. I'm sure they got somebody writing their stuff. Jeez. Maybe we should write our own for yeah. next week's show and then go at each other. Uh, I, I like feel it. like it would be bad, though. We'd be arguing and then... Yeah, it would probably maybe turn into some animosity. <laughs> yeah. We're bros. We can't be yeah, doing that. Can't, can't be hating. Yeah. Uh, no hate here. If you were a movie fan, Super Troopers were there. And <sighs> Super Troopers was like a huge movie when, when Dude, I was they, in high school. They looked perfectly like they did Farva. the movie. Farva. Rabbit. <laughs> Every picture I saw of Farva, he looked... He's just having a good time. I think he, he has a kid like, with him, too. That's great. Ramathorn. <laughs> They had them all there. Kenny and them got a picture with them. I know, man. I was, I'm jealous of that. Oh, I wanted to get a picture of them. Migos even. Dude, Migos came to a NASCAR race and got a picture with Super Troopers. That's That, that just shows yeah. their star power Where do you right get there. Migos, Super Trooper, and, and Caitlyn Jenner at the same place? Yeah, right? Come to a NASCAR race. Come to a NASCAR race. <laughs> you got a whole variety of of superstars you there. You never know what you're going to see. Yeah. That was uh, that was pretty wild. There was a lot of big. Justin Hartley was yep. there, and one of your good buddies too, Ian Summerhalder. Yep. Man, he got to drive the pace car, and he was like videoing and and uh, pumped up. Man, he tweeted after the race, top ten, great run for Austin Dillon. And yeah, he's an man, awesome he's a dude. huge fan uh, of racing now. And hopefully, I can get him out of the track. I want to get him where I can like drive him around a race car. Oh man, I didn't, did. I talk about this in a couple shows about taking Alex Wood and those guys and making them sweat the Dodgers players no i don't think no you you didn't talk about man i got to take alex wood and cody bellinger uh for a ride and and speaking to all these people they like want to be on barn life so i'm gonna get alex wood on here we'll get cody bellinger yes justin hartley is confirmed for our show so all all you ladies ian summerhalder justin hartley they're all gonna come on this show so you better stay tuned because it's gonna be i mean you get us two three good looking guys on every show but you know we'll get we'll get some actors in here and paul likes to think he's a good looking dude well, I, I'd like. I'd like. To I, think, I don't. I would never say that about myself. I'd like myself. to think all boss? three of us are. You know, Paul's working his way to shirtless on this show. I don't know if he anybody else has yeah, noticed that. Jackie, Jackie the, Moon's on the more show skin tonight. Come every on. show, huh? Yeah, you know. Well, we'll be shirtless next episode. All right, this is a great time to thank our sponsors. Mm. Uh, talking about shirtless. Ka, 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 ka. Calcium. Woo. Give us some facts, Foss. Calcium is a mineral that is necessary for life. In addition to building bones and keeping them healthy, calcium enables our blood to clot, our muscles to contract, and our heart to beat. About 99% of calcium in our bodies is in our bones and teeth. Our bodies cannot produce its own calcium. Mind blown. Wow. Guys, calcium, You know what else has calcium in them, I'm sure? Martinsville hot dogs. Ooh. I think I'm going to have at least 10 this weekend. I love a good Martinsville dog. And you know, How my, many do you eat? Well, my favorite part is after the race on Sunday, teams, they, they get the Martinsville dogs for the cruise during the race, and then like the ones they don't eat, they just sit out on pit wall after the race. So 
on our way out, I just kind of grab as many as I can. And Dude, you brought like 30 home yeah. last year. You got to grab them while they're hot, baby. Come on. Oh, man, I love the Martinsville oh. hot. It's my favorite God. hot dog. It's it's a red dog, and then you just all the way. And I don't like- You like it all the way, right? Yeah, but I normally I don't like coleslaw. I don't like mustard. But you do in but Martinsville. But I do in Martinsville, and I do on those dogs. Another sni- snippet about Martinsville, another good place to eat for breakfast, Clarence's Steakhouse on think, the way. I think we went there one time. Yeah, you need to stop in at Clarence's, get you a, a country fried steak, and then go to the track. Maybe get a little pork chop. Pork chop. You know, pork chop eats a pork chop. You guys chop. are coming to the race this week, and you excited? First yeah. race for, for right, pork I'm chop. I'm talking about this breakfast now that you said that. Hey, yeah. you're coming to the yeah. race this weekend? Yeah, he's coming to the race. I'm going to be there. Let's he said go. weather will not keep him away. He'll no, be there even I'll on Monday. There, man. Hey, we got to get a saucy, we gotta get a saucy pick. Oh, we'll have the sauciest. Hey, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Oh, man. So, uh, what else this week? We got March Madness. Yeah, that and was crazy. And this probably has been March, one man. of the craziest tournaments. Well, duh. I mean, a 16 beat a one. <laughs> and I guarantee we're not going to see that for a long time Ever. again. I don't know. Maybe this like gives 16 seeds more opportunity to win since that happened. I can't believe that happened. I mean, if you're UMBC, don't you think you're going to sign some pretty good recruit off of this game? Oh, for sure. Like a couple good ones, right? There's actually a guy who plays on their team who's from Wisconsin. We, uh, His brother was in my grade, and I knew him from sports growing up and everything, and it was pretty cool to watch him play out there. And It's crazy. I wish they would have made it to the next round and made it on past that, but I don't know. I guess their luck ran out, and that – them playing against Virginia. It was, was a close game. The second it was. Game. You're Kansas right. State. You're right. It was. It was a good game, but I mean, they probably they're a team that probably has to play nearly perfect. Yeah, every they game have in this to. Tournament I mean, they have to, to hit win. every shot. Yeah. Almost like my hoop group team did last night. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. wait, Paul really wanted to talk about a hoop group leading up to the season, but I haven't heard him mention it today. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What happened last night? We lost the first game of the season. Yeah. Okay, so it's just the first it's game. The first game. Do you, do you want to ask me what my team did, what NWO did? What did NWO do? We won 63-41. to 41. Ryan Blaney and I, we just scored, meshed. Ty Dillon, unstoppable force defensively. Um, John Lobb, great rebounding. Uh, man, Craven, 14 points. Everybody on my team contributed. Yeah, you know, I like my team. I think everybody contributed. We. Uh... How many points did, did your... Team score. I know you had a great night. You had 24. Yeah, I mean, free throw line, I sucked, though, and, you know, should have done more. But uh, we scored 52 points. That's pretty good score. 56 to 52. We were down by 20 points hey, at I, one I point. will give you this. You never broke because you guys were down by 20, yeah. and you came back. It was a good charge. You're yeah. going to be a hard team to beat no matter we what. Just gotta, we got to get our got to get our flow going, yeah. get our – Match you just a need better. a fourth round pick to score like fourteen points, like my fourth round pick did. Austin Craven, that was pretty impressive. I got to give it to you on that. Yeah. And I think we're gonna make Voss come video every Monday night now. <laughs> Voss, you just found yourself another <laughs> job to do. You'll we love won't Voss. Make it. Voss, you'll love we'll it. We'll just though. take one of these fancy tripods in here and a camera and hit record. Can, just and come, then he can edit. It. Come when we play each other, though. At least that's like five yeah, weeks I mean, from we now. We can put up one. You know why they scheduled our game so far apart from the start of the season? Mm-hmm. Like we're like the fifth game in, is because they knew that they were going to struggle the first couple games. So they got to get their stuff together. <laughs> Raz was the one who scheduled the games. Oh, okay. He's sure. the one who makes the schedule. Sure. But hey, my strategy: I didn't take a first rounder. Gave him my first rounder. Took a second rounder. Ryan Blaney. I don't know how he fell to me. It was amazing. And uh, we're well, one Bla- and Blaney. And- Blaney's oh, a hit or miss oh, player. When he when oh, he oh, hits, he's one of the best in the league. And when he misses, he's... What if it's just him and I together are going to be hard to beat, I think? Because when one of us is on, the other one could be off. It doesn't matter because we're going to drop 20 or 22. One of us is. Well, we'll see. Still a long season. Just week one. Glad glad we're undefeated. You're not. But, oh well. We'll we'll see next week. How would you say, gentlemen, start your engines? Try not to bust the mic right now. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to. If you were given the honor... What track would you want to say, gentlemen, start your engines, and how would you say it? Probably Bristol because Bristol's like a – Yeah, know, I would say Bristol probably. The, the noise. I don't know, Daytona 500. Yeah, would be Daytona me, 500 would – yeah, you're probably right. Biggest crowd, yeah. biggest like viewership at the period of time. How would mm-hmm. you say it? 
Gentlemen, start your engines! Whoa! That's impressive. Yeah, come on, that's pretty Would you good. wait until you passed out? Like, would you like oh, hold I, the I would, mic I, until you just I would hold it red? for as long as I could. I was just, I'm kind of feeling it right there a little bit. That was impressive, <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. Boss, can you, you want to, you know, you want to I got us? nothing on that. Come on. Pork you got to get into it. I mean, it's a, they, they don't got anything either. You don't have a way you would say, gentlemen, start your engines. I mean, I feel like I would yell it. Would you just I walk mean, up to the mic and say, Gentlemen, start your engines. That no. would be a, that would be a Voss. Classy yeah. Voss. No, it like wouldn't. It wouldn't. you would get a little gentlemen, more aggressive. I would, yeah, I would yell it. What's your well, favorite? You know what my favorite gentleman start your engines of all time? Adam Sandler. We got to play it on here because every time I hear yeah. Adam Sandler do it. And then my favorite prayer was Joe Nelms in Nashville. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for all your blessings. You said in all things give thanks. So we want to thank you tonight for these mighty machines that you brought before us. Thank you for the Dodges and the Toyotas. Thank you for the Fords. And most of all, we thank you for Roush and Yates partnering to give us the power that we see before us tonight. Thank you for GM Performance Technology and the R07 engines. Thank you for Sunoco Racing Fuel and Goodyear tires that bring performance and power to the track. Lord, I want to thank you for my smoking hot wife tonight, Lisa. My two children, Eli and Emma, or as we like to call them, the little E's. Lord, I pray you bless the drivers and use them tonight. May they put on a performance worthy of this great track. In Jesus' name, boogity, 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 amen. That was really funny. <laughs> but Adam Sandler, he crushed it on Gentleman's Star Engines. Yeah, you would be close second with that I, I last that was, performance. That was pretty worthy, you know. Yeah. They but, all, most of them get pretty into it, though, I feel yeah, like. Well, that's, yeah. You, you got to get into yeah. it. If that's you didn't, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a sacred thing. Yeah, make yeah. it fun. What, it, what is sacred in other sports to do? Like, for the Panthers, it's the drum, right? You beat the drum for keep pounding when they come out there. Like what is what is one something sacred other than like gentlemen start your engines that you would like to 76ers. do? Yeah, that we did the I did the that was cool the bell at the 76ers game and it cracks uh, the floor when me, you hit the bell. Jump around at Wisconsin Badger football games after. Ha, the does third someone quarter. lead that? No, but it's just like everybody in the stadium, not just the student section, like everybody jumps and that jump stadium around. shakes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not a Badgers fan, but that's one of the coolest traditions I've ever seen. What about that? What I'm asking though, like. Usually it's like one person oh, says, you know, oh, so um, like Seattle, they raise the flag. Yeah. Like the 12th man flag. I know that's cool. Well, if you could like think of one that you would like to do, I, I know one that I would like to do would be pretty cool. Well, Paul, would you rather say gentlemen, start your engines or wave the green flag? Gentlemen, start your really? engines. Oh yeah. I, for I, him. I get really TV time, man. TV <laughs> yeah, time. No. It's not I, like t-shirt time. It's TV time. Well, Cause he doesn't it, like t-shirts. He's like tank tops, obviously. Yeah, come on. All right. Um, I like. Uh, I think doing the uh, lighting of the Olympic torch. Oh, that would be. cool. I think that would be really carrying it or lighting it. The actual guy who runs up the stairs, the last person, last to do person it, runs in the stadium with, and then runs up the stairs and lights it. I think that would be. Man, that would be cool. That'd be pretty cool, especially if the Olympics was in the United States. Man, that would be awesome. I think that'd probably be the best one. I want to do that too. <laughs> now that Austin's gonna do yeah. your dream. <laughs> I said it first. <laughs> I'm gonna call Dow. Yeah, now he's Dow's the Olympic sponsor, yeah, so he's probably gonna get to do it. D O W Dow. How far do you have to run? How do, what's the last well, leg? Well, I think they just run. Well, I don't know because they run into the stadium and they, they look, probably run it to the stadium, hand it to the person, and then yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I think because I've been on a. I remember our, elem, our elementary school got on a highway one time and all lined up and watched one of the people run by. Yeah. That's probably like ninety. Yeah. What whatever. Was it Atlanta games? Probably yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. That was pretty. Wait, cool. Wait. So he came by Iowa. Through Iowa. I <laughs> don't like, know where they started. <laughs> maybe he had some California. Man, I don't know. There. If you were running in any state, what would you, state would you not want to be the one running through? Uh, 
Iowa would be good. It's pretty flat. Probably yeah. West Virginia. I wouldn't want to run through West Virginia. I would yeah, not whoever, run yeah. West Virginia. whoever has to cross through the Rockies or through the Appalachian. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Well, I just West Virginia. Just, I I don't know about that state. One of our I think good, they have people. One of our good buddies is from that state, and uh, I think they. Have, I don't think you're alone. They have good like. Uh, <laughs> hey, we do like West Virginia for their trail riding. Yeah, yeah, the they are, are great. Yes, nice. those trails are awesome. You stop at the bathroom and just it would probably prop the torch up in the corner. <laughs> it, <laughs> they would have like what Jerry West, Nick Saban running the torch through that state. Who else? And Tyler Rader. No, Tyler Rader maybe through Nitro. That's where he's from. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro, West Virginia, <laughs> and the actors from Deliverance. Yeah, I mean, for I mean, well, if I didn't say that answer, what were you thinking of saying? Um, well, I I would oh, I still want to I want to be invited to uh, hit the drum I think at you, the Panthers I think game, I but think, I want to be invited. Like, well, hey, I, th- I think you got a pretty good shot after winning the Daytona 500. Well, I hope you know. I want to, You've been I want, a season ticket come, holder for a long time. Come hit the drum at the Panthers yeah. game. But you know what's a cool one, too, is the Viking skull when they get to blow oh, into that horn. Dude. That hole is, like, sweet. And then they, the skull chant. Yes. You know, Panthers are like Vikings uh, East right now. We have, like, free agency. We've got three Vikings players mm-hmm. already. Um, we just keep taking them because North Turner probably knows half their yeah. team. Vikings are going to be pretty tough, though, again. Yeah. Her cousins are going to be dangerous. So for Easter, I think I'm going to go back to Daytona and just walk around the track. Well, that'll be fun. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can I come? Ariel's going to be dress shopping for a wedding dress. Yeah, come with me to Daytona, and we'll Perfect. just hang out in Daytona. Sounds good. Weather's going to be nice. Nothing I can, like Daytona. I can get a nice tan. Oh, Where's she going dress shopping? In New York. Good luck with mm. that. <laughs> if the bad thing is she's going with Whitney. <laughs> There's no good thing in this. I mean, you're get you're getting married. That's great, but yeah. the wedding thing it's it's expensive. Yeah, I know. Well, we're trying to keep it as cheap as possible. Yeah, I'll wait until she gets there and sees those dresses. We oh. have to have this one. Well, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, well I mean, she's the love of your life. You're yeah. just gonna get her what she wants, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It'll be good. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be having fun in Daytona. Yeah, that's right. Just the dressed. phone there's gonna be one phone call that's probably not gonna be fun for you. Yeah. Like, babe, you're never gonna believe it. I found the dress. The dress. <laughs> the one and only. And Vera Wang is right here with me. Yes. And she <laughs> says that no one has looked this good in this dress. Oh, well, what's that <laughs> price tag, baby? <laughs> And she goes, don't worry about the price tag. Do you love me? Yeah, I love her, of course. So don't worry about the price, and it's going to be yours. Yeah. We're talking about wedding dresses. <laughs> nah, she'll, she'll look beautiful in any dress. Anything and everything on, on Barn That's Life. Right. Anything That's and everything. That's well, right. uh, pretty cool announcement came out on Fox Sports 1 before mm-hmm. we started filming the show. Daniel Hemrick has got two cup races with the Smoky Mountain Snuff Car. That's awesome. Yeah. And Car we're going to FaceTime cool him. Too. Yeah, <clears throat> me and him had a heck of a battle on Saturday. It was good. Um, it's cool. We actually raced really well together because I pushed him by Cole Custer, mm-hmm. and then we got we cleared him uh, right with a couple laps to go. But it was fun. It was a good good race. That was it was a fun race. I'm going to uh, Facetime him. I think we can Facetime him here now. Whoa! Oh. There's old Hemrikas. What's up, bro? Hanging out, man. How are you? We're How are good, y'all? man. I figured you were going to be better, dude. You just announced something really cool. Yeah, give us some energy. Come on. I know. I'm here, man. Sorry. I just got to eat them. Nah, you're good. Steak, you're good. Kind of cool. Was it a good steak? Oh, it was so good. So did, good. Did you have to put anything? If you eat a steak, what do you put on it? Yeah, what? Zero. Go you got to put anything on it. It's not a good steak. It's not right. good. No so way one. Just a little salt or it was straight That's up? That's right. Straight up. Okay. Like it. That's really good. So tell us about your two races, man, in the Cup Series. In the dude. eight car. That's awesome. How cool is that, right? Have yeah. eight car back in the Cup Series. It's uh, unbelievable, really, man. You know, you and I grew up together racing. It's crazy to think that all that stuff, everything comes back full circle, and this is legitimately it. Uh, being from here in Kannapolis and knowing what that number means to myself, to the Earnhardt family, to all of NASCAR, really, man, it's crazy. Um, so they have Smoky Mountain take, take the chance on me, not only last year in the Xfinity Series, but sign up and want to run two Cup races myself. And uh, Pop Pop, you know, at RCR is pretty pretty unbelievable yeah that car looks pretty sweet 
So yeah. not not many people know when me and Hemrick first started racing, Hemrick had orange hair, long curly <laughs> orange hair to here. I'm, I'm gonna find a picture we of us hanging out. Of but the dude, I always thought he was like the coolest dude because when he'd walk down pit road at Charlotte, we raced the quarter mile together. He'd have no shirt on with his suit like hanging down. No shirt. Like Paul, he, he always liked to show yeah, his skin. Yeah, I like it. And uh, walking down pit road did not I give a crap. Well, you uh, may, might not have looked as big as Paul, but I mean, you still, you were a stud, man. You were walking down, no shirt, just suit wrapped down. You were cool. <laughs> big badass walking down pit road. Oh, man, we had fun back in those. There's nothing like those short track days. That's awesome. Exactly right. So who I mean, who won more races back then when you guys used to go up against each Dude, other? Dude, Hemrick Hemrick was a baller, man. He he <laughs> always he, he he raced before I did. So yeah. when I came in, I yeah. we actually used Daniel a lot to figure out how to get better. Right. And and he helped our program a ton. And uh anytime he'd get in a car, he could go fast. Well, that's cool. You guys are not I actually always said as I moved up, I said one day if I ever had a chance to put someone in a car, it'd be Daniel <laughs> Hemrick. Awesome. And he did it on his own. I didn't do anything to do it because he he worked his way up through there and put himself in the, in the cars he needed to be. Well, it's cool. You both are teammates now and racing for the same company and everything. And it's fun. That's what, yeah, it's badass. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's having having a dream, man, and believing it and having faith. It all works out the way it was. No doubt. Exactly. Like, pretty wild. Now we're both married, dude. I was. I know. Check this out. I know isn't that crazy? <laughs> I got one on there. And 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 this guy's getting married, and I was talking oh, crap I because can you hear you us? Oh, I got you now. It's it's yes. raining like super hard here, so the FaceTime's probably screwed up. But we're gonna yeah, it it'll be all right. Too, okay. All right. Well, uh, we we're talking about getting married, and Paul, his wife's going wedding shopping, and we've been ragging him already. Like, oh, it boy. sucks, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. But I'm always pretty simple, but there's still a lot of little things that you're oh, not prepared yeah. for. Yeah, I, I I bet, man. I'm uh, I'm kind of on a. I'm obviously I'm a rookie at this, and uh, she, I'm she's kinda... going to Easter off weekend. I'm taking him. We're going to Daytona to hang out, and he's they're going to New York to go dress shopping. It's yeah. like, oh no! Just yeah. give her the credit card and don't ask any questions. Yeah. That's great advice. It's <laughs> great advice. Hey, okay, so we talked about we had two like things we talked about on the show, and one of them was you know Migos and Ice Cube were at the race in Fontana, and we said. If you're a rapper, what would your rap name be? I'm Little Ace. Little Ace, baby. And this is the, uh, ticket, the master. ticket Master and Voss Man over here. What would your rap name be if you if you had a rap name? That might put me on the spot. Come on, know, you got man. A. Come on, let's go. If not, Paul let's will give you one. He I, always he's, he's, yeah, he's I, always I got something. It's obviously gonna be like Hot Shoe. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be the hype. The hype. The hype. I like that. I like that. The hype. The hot shoe. Hot go with that somewhere along those lines yeah the hot shoe was your was was the whole hemrick uh right. nickname so hot shoe could be a really good one i like the hype we got we got big danny hype in the building baby come on big danny hype <laughs> come on and the other question was we asked like okay you, you know what for nascar gentlemen start your engine Man. we lost all our power dude oh i will say this was a great show Bummer that we only have one camera angle, yeah. but we uh, did get some good stuff on here. The audio is great. Mm -hmm. we, we do get one good camera yeah, angle. Yeah, hey, we're going to get some good shots in there. It could have been all the cameras wrecked, Yeah, but one came through. There's one always that one through. shining There's moment. Always that one. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the show. We're, uh, we're excited to bring out more great content and bring in more special guests and uh, just doing whatever you guys love. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys uh, like the show, comment, share the page, Austin Dillon page. Also, next week, we're going to shoot at the five stand over at my grandfather to shoot a little skeet, a little skeet trivia. Trap shooting for dummies. We're going to shoot a little trap. So check that out. It'll be on video maybe next week. So thank you guys for tuning in to Barn Life. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we're going to go kick butt in Martinsville. Mm -hmm. Peace out, barnyard yes, animals. Sir.